up, y'all? Oh, welcome to the Bahamas. Thanks for coming. Hey, my name's Will. That's my cousin Ricky. Ricky! <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger just posted he's in Budapest and he just I took a picture by his picture <laughs> that's my dude right there well you son of a bitch Arnold Schwarzenegger gave me some of the best advice that I've ever received in my career. If your movie is only big in America, it doesn't matter. You'll be a movie star only when you're a movie star in every country in the world. You have to travel, you have to go, you have to meet the people. And I'm forever grateful. Arnold, you're my man. Whenever you ever need anything, call on me, Will. I got you. Okay, so what happened was we were training yes. and you saw Ulysses. You was like, you know, Will's black and Ulysses is black. <laughs> and you were like, you know, I just think it would be nice, you know, cause he's getting ready for Mike Lowry. And you were like, I just, you wanted to blend some, some black, some blackness. <laughs> Right. Into yeah. is that what you were? I'm just trying to get a sense. <laughs> no, that's it. Now you, you hit you hit the nail on the head because there I was thinking like you were like we're gonna need someone else to get this roll going. <laughs> just so you guys know though, it's 250 milligrams per serving of caffeine, so that's a substantial hit. Yeah. Mm. It's not your normal. Yeah. Three shots of the stuff. This is 250 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. Ooh. That's like, that's perfect. and in your vision is don't listen to the naysayers. How many times have you heard that you can't do this, you can't do that? <laughs> so pay no attention to the people that say you can't be done. in my water yesterday, um, but I think I may have gone a little bit too hard. This is 250 milligrams of caffeine. 250 milligrams of caffeine. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250 milligrams of caffeine. My back is sore, my legs is sore, my neck is sore, my eyelids hurt, and I think the only thing that can, can fix all that heat I brought is some cold. I need some cold. We're headed over to cryotherapy. Right. Cryotherapy is good because it's a great way to recover from training. Do you think it hurts? Because to me, it feels like it might hurt. When I first read about it, I heard about it. I was like, man, I don't know. Black folks, we're from the tropics. Yeah, we don't like the, the cold. The that that, that cold look. thing. But then they told me it was two, three minutes. So I figured, you know what? I could get into character for that. Come, Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do you think you need cryotherapy? Not a bit. We don't do cold. My cousin Ricky's a fireman, so he don't really he don't really need no cryotherapy. When was the last time you you was at a fire, cousin Ricky? Are you really a fireman? Cause that family thinks you're a fireman. You a little fireman? You a little fireman? Shh. Shh. It's a spa. No, you can make noise. You can make noise in here. What's your name? You wanna be on my YouTube channel? I wanna be on Instagram. You wanna be on my Instagram? You want me on my Instagram page? You just got yourself on my Instagram page. I What's did. your name? Stacy. Stacy. Who you want to say hi to? Everybody. Hello. <laughs> so we're here. We're at the cryo chamber. So wait. So we stand in the cryo chamber. Gregory, are you gonna? You know how it works? Yes, sir. 
All right, so what is, what's the deal? Do you mind being on camera, Gregory? It's too late, but do you? No, I don't mind. You don't mind, all right. How cold does it get in there, Gregory? Negative 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I think, you know, just the way human history has evolved, I think a white person should go first. You're gonna be absolutely nude. Oh, no, I'm not gonna be absolutely nude, especially if it's cold in there. All right, so, all right, here we go. We're going into the chamber. Oh, oh, that's really cold. You want to turn every 15 seconds. This is the opposite of rotisserie gold. How, how long did it stay in? Three minutes. No, no, not three minutes. Ah, oh, ah, it's really cold. Okay, okay. Ah. When it starts burning, that's when it starts counting. You see, that's what makes you a champion. No pain, no gain. And they're like, damn it, I can't stop thinking. Your mind's job is to think. You don't have to stop thinking, you just, you don't act on the thoughts. Just observe what you're thinking. Three, two, one. Turn it off, turn it off. Step up. It's really, really gold. Wow. Yo. So yesterday we were on the road and we saw uh, they have security officers that try to keep the speed down so they, they clock people. Hey, does the speed gun work like on something like a person running? Yes, it works on running. So we, we had them test us and everything. So people start talking crazy and we got the speed gun. 30 people racing. I think this is the dumbest thing we've done. I'll let them pay attention to all the folly and stuff, but it comes down to when the race starts and the results are in. Silver Fox, Usain Bolt, AKA Saren Scotty, Scotty Raw, all of that. I'll be there. I'll be at the finish while they smelling my toes from behind. Somebody's going to the hospital. I just hope it's not me. Justin, Justin Rose in the, in the building. Yeah. Justin Rose is a US Open champion. Justin just committed to a sprint and he thinks he can get to 25 or 26 <laughs> miles per hour. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Brother, brother, brother. A real chance, 2-2, Kisuke Honda, Rivals for Japan! What's going on? Oh, so we're at, oh, this is an international race now. Yeah, it's yeah. international. <laughs> Who are you guys betting on? Yeah. We bet on Mr. Honda. You gotta go as well. He's ready, you stretch. I do have a competitive advantage because I'm Puerto Rican. All Puerto Ricans have competitive advantage. I'm ready, you know, I'm just warming up. This, I'm afraid to we're, injured. We're definitely doing too much. A tradition unlike any other. This is so stupid. On your mark. Get set, go. Case K got that one pretty easy. It's a little bit of a false start. I got caught rocking back. I got caught rocking back at the start. You know? blah, blah, blah. How do you feel to get defeated? No, no, no. It was it was tough, you know, because I got a 27. You what would you run? Uh 24. Exactly, yesterday. exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's all about the hard work that you put in. Work your ass off. I'm a strong believer of what Nelson Mandela said. 
that everything is always impossible until someone does it. Maybe it has never been done before. That's perfectly fine with me. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs>